joined SST in uh, June, July 2009. Teaching in 2002-2003. Uh, and I thought after five years in uh, mainstream schools uh, teaching uh, design and technology, or what is usually known as a DNT, okay, I think I, I felt that, that there's something more that I could do, I could contribute to the uh, DNT community. Okay. And I thought uh, coincidentally there was an opportunity for me to, to, to so called uh, be part of this new educational setup called SSD. And I thought, uh, why not give it a try, give it a go. I think it's this whole idea about uh, starting from scratch, okay? Uh, the fact that we have a clean canvas to start our work on, okay? About having this idea that uh, we are going to start something new. I think the nice thing is uh, concerning something which I've always envisioned that uh, I think design is not just about the element of uh, the, 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 the aesthetics, okay? So there's also this element of technology, there's also this element of media. And I thought, okay, heading this new department called ADMT is something new, something that has never been done before at this level uh, in Singapore's context. I think uh, one of the good memories that I had of, uh, of SST was, I think, the, the year before 2010, 2009, okay, when we had our first few rounds of uh, outreach talks to parents. I remember we had that session in one of the lecture theatres in uh, Ngiam Polytechnic or NP. Okay, so on a Saturday morning, I remembered, okay, it was, a, it was drizzling a little bit. Okay, so I think some of the worries that we had as a team was whether parents would come or not. Okay, because and, and some more it's in a location in, in Ngiam Poly which some of the parents might not be familiar with. Okay, so, uh, and I was told, I think about a few days before that, by Mr. Chua. And I think I'm not, I can't remember who else. Okay, to so since I'm heading the ADMT department, okay, why not maybe come up with a, a video of sorts, you know, to, to, to elicit responses and comments, okay, from our potential students and and their parents, okay. So it was quite an undertaking because I've never done like a video, similar video where you know where, where I go around interviewing parents and students and you know and, 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 and you know, doing a video of that and then maybe like showing my piece of work okay, to, to the audience, to the public. So I thought that was a, one of the good memory. A little bit scary because that was the first time I'm doing something like that. Okay, but I thought it sets forth the, the, the kind of spirit that we want our pioneer team to be. Some uh, people who are willing to try, willing to do it, okay, uh, pe pe uh, someone who is resourceful. So yeah, we just have to just go out there and just do it. Yeah, get it, get get the things done. I, I feel satisfied, okay, over the years that uh, how has how the program, how the curriculum has turned out over the years, okay. But uh, I think as I shared with my colleagues in the department, okay, it's always a works in progress, okay. We should never be satisfied with what we have done or achieved. Okay, it's always this thing about finding what's next, what's beyond the curve. Okay, to ensure that you know the the, the students' learning uh, is, is is still relevant. So it is still as as I'm talking right now. You know, I'm I'm also planning with my other uh, colleagues on how we can perhaps maybe uh, extend their learning. Okay. Uh, even within the next three years, okay. So it's it's this continuous process. I think in in, in Japanese it's called kaizen, where it's really looking always looking for continuous improvement. We should never be satisfied with what we have. Okay, we should never be like uh, be complacent with uh, our past achievements. Okay, we should always uh, look ahead and sometimes also look at our peers. Okay, because uh, there's there's always this two way learning process. Okay, we must always uh, we must also look at what. Uh, our peers have uh, achieved in mainstream schools. I think this is something that we have to be cognizant of. Okay, we must also be looking at uh, things that are happening in the industries, uh, which is why I think one of the key things that we always want constantly on the lookout for are partners in the industries, so that we can partner with them, we can leverage the expertise, and more importantly, we can provide a, a more authentic learning experience for our students. Uh, which is what is happening for our past you know, uh, InnoFest uh, challenges as well as our current 3M InnoFest challenge. I think we have come a long way okay, from just being a two-person setup way back in 2008 to where she is right now. Okay, 
So my hope is that uh, SST will continue to be innovative, will continue to be at the leading edge of the curve, okay, to continue to be the pioneer okay, in uh, educational innovations, to nurture, to develop students okay, who will be able to achieve the school's mission and vision okay, for the next 10, 20 or even 100 years.